Hey, welcome to the Solid Face Professional Training. Remember to subscribe and click the notification bell to receive our alerts for our weekly training videos. Finally, on our 12th exercise. Exciting, isn't it? Let's finish our lessons. Like always, open a new drawing. I'll leave this geometry here, and we're selecting arc circle. Create a circle with a radius of 90 and another with a radius of 30, like this. We'll habilitate the radius selecting type and choosing the option Show Radius Value. That being done, let's create the first tooth of our gear. Go to the tool Multiple Lines and type the measures of 10 on axe X, 5 on axe Y, and input any value here to close our geometry. We'll delete the line using the tool Line Partial Erase. Select the geometry and click on the tool Mirror and confirm the operation. So now we're erasing the line that doesn't belong to the geometry, and we'll get them together above here using the tool Join Extend. Habilitate the tool Fillet, and we're going to shape, shape those corners, inputting the radius of 1.5 that appears right here in the figure. By selecting the geometry, we're clicking on the Circular Pattern tool. And we're going to fill the angle in quantity fields, being 12.86 degrees and 28 teeth. We'll click on Keep Same Angle to maintain the same angle to every tooth. After doing so, we're erasing the pattern created, leaving only this geometry that represents a pitch and a value of the gear teeth. Again, we're selecting the geometry. Habilitate the Circular Pattern tool, and we're inputting the same information we added before, 12.86 degrees and 28 teeth, remembering to click on Keep Same Angle. As you can see, our geometry is almost done. Click on Rectangle and habilitate the relative point so we can have a reference point instead of leaving our rectangle random in our geometry. We're selecting this line, and we'll habilitate Offset on O-Snap, creating a line with a distance of 10. We're repeating that operation with the lines that are missing, like that. Now, our last steps. We'll erase the lines that don't belong to the geometry, clicking on the Line Partial Erase command. After that, we're selecting the Fillet tool, and we'll shape those edges with radius 5. Now we'll choose the geometry and habilitate the circular pattern tool and select the center of the circle as our reference. Input the angle of 90 and quantity of 4. And finally, we're adding the measures missing, finishing our last exercise. Well guys, that's it for today. Remember to subscribe, click the notification bell to receive our alerts for our weekly training videos.